this is not a spring chicken. I am so wound up today because one of the things we're doing is, you know, we've been doing, we've been experimenting live. Yes, experimenting live broadcast. And I know, it's like right there. And so it's just making me extremely, extremely excited. But, oh, I guess we should talk, huh? Anyway, it's President's Day weekend, and we're just getting to it because it's Friday. So we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. <laughs> okay, we are really, I am really well enough. Well, actually, time. because we actually did three minutes of this earlier live. <laughs> we are available for advertisements. And the five hour energy drink inventor revealed to be a Buddhist monk. I thought that was interesting. It's because they're not allowed to do things like drink coffee to keep themselves awake. And yeah. So, what he did was he took natural ingredients that have caffeine in and made a drink. That basically the they get you know if it's all natural it's perfectly acceptable for them to do it so oh. who would have thought that a monk would have dreamed of a thing like that though the monk probably dreamed it up for themselves well yeah that's what they did because they have a hard time keeping awake mm -hmm. so and they can't drink coffee they can drink tea but not all tea is caffeinated right. And jobless claims drop for a new, to near four-year low. Anybody want to know what BS the bull is out here for? Because you talk about okay, the president. I, I, here's here's from the Obama people, you know, from the Democratic leadership over on the one. They said that one of the guys that doesn't really support Obama said, "I'll bet my bank book that the president of the United States is going to have uh, unemployment rate under seven percent for the next election." They said when. He said, nobody in my state's working. None of my family knows anyone that's working. Uh -huh. But the unemployment rate just keeps falling because nobody is looking for work anymore. Because this morning, the government just gave everybody a whole nother year of not having to worry about looking for a job. Oh, really? But they're paying for it by taking the money out of the Social Security Retirement Fund, which means it's busted, folks. There's no taxes being paid into it for a year. And they said at the end of this, up, they're going to up it again, which will mean for three years, there'll be no money going into Social Security. And gonorrhea could join a growing list of untreatable diseases. Well, because Obama's <laughs> FDA doesn't allow you to use drugs that would put a halt to it. You know, they use penicillin. I can go get penicillin for a dog. That is how useless it is now for human beings. It's so weak. That dogs are basically, you know, you use penicillin to cure problems with pets mm -hmm. because it no longer functions in adults, in humans, so. And all the tracking polls show it is impossible to beat Obama. Yeah. I, I saw this yesterday. They're predicting Obama will lose the popular vote by a wide margin, that he will take no more than 20 states and win the election by at least 100 electoral votes. That is if the Republicans only have two people running. If they have three running, Obama doesn't even have to have the uh, 20 states that they're predicting. He'll take, they said, they're looking at an 11-state win for a president of the United States. 11 states. And fears of slowdown fade as the economy shows some muscle. There's no muscle. I mean, they give you a lot of BS about everything out there, which is why BS is really prominent on it today. Uh, we came back from magic. We went to, we went, actually we were looking, that was a good thing, we're, we're, we went to a thing about fashion, so we're going into stores looking to find gowns for her for the uh, Oscar week, <laughs> because we're short. But uh, people were not coming out with bags, they were coming out with little, little doily type bags with things they were buying. Go into grocery stores, go into department stores, they're buying essentials, they are not buying uh, the, un, the luxury mm -hmm. items. And um, another thing, they said, well, last week shows the movie industry is back. Well, the movies that made money happen to have been made by people that are big supporters of the president. Mm. I think I find that strange. The movies that didn't do as well were movies made by people that aren't associated with the president. So if put two and two together, if your movies make $30 million each more than what you should have made, yeah. And the movies that should have been, the movies that were made by the people that are not supporting the president only made what they should have made. I have a think, of, well, we do know that we've been in movies that only had 10 people in them that were claiming uh, record amounts of people watching them. So. And EU threatens new sanctions on Syria. But it doesn't mean you can threaten all the sanctions you want as long as uh, 
the, I mean, it, like the General Assembly condemned Syria, and then the Russians and the Chinese who need the port of Damascus to get their stuff into the countries in the Middle East vetoed everything. Mm -hmm. So you can basically pass sanctions till hell freezes over as long as two major members of the Security Council won't enforce them. And the Washington state lawmakers passed the gay marriage bill. Yeah, they passed it because every state that has a left-wing government is passing gay rights, passing gay marriage bills. And that, as soon as they come up for a vote, they're voted down. Like, and they know that in California, they're trying to think in California, where it uh, hasn't got anything to do with what they turned it down on. They turned it down on the fact, well, it's already been allowed, so therefore you have to allow it. No. They're, they're doing it, you know, that, that will not stand with the Supreme Court. They said the Supreme Court will, might let it stand. It depends. They said right now it's a four to four vote, and Senator Alioto, who happens to be Roman Catholic, uh -huh. is likely to be the vote on the other side because they said there is no constitutional right to marriage in the Constitution of the United States. To get it in front of the United States, what they're going to do is they're going to be based on the fact that the public has a right to decide what constitutional amendments are, and a court has no right to decide that a constitutional amendment that was approved of by a Supreme Court justice in the state is unconstitutional. It was written to the words required by the California Supreme Court, and, a, and an appeals court said it's unconstitutional. It's impossible. And GOP vows to reverse Obama birth control policy. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, the, the Democratic women and one man walked out on a meeting because they said, you know, we're not going to stand for this because you're trying to take, you're trying to, to take the rights of women away because 98% of all Catholic women believe in birth control and abortion. And then they asked them on the news, well, the studies all say that. Well, can you name a study? We've got much research has been done on it. And, and they all, even the left press wants to know. Give us the study, and we can basically say that 98% of Catholic women believe in birth control and abortions. Well, it's out there if you look. Mm -hmm. There is no mm -hmm. such study, because I can guarantee you um, the black women don't believe uh, in, in a lot of these things, and the Latinos do not believe in abortion and birth control, period. They do not believe in it. And uh, so you already have lost about 50% of the country. So you can't. If you 50% of the population does not believe in it because of their religious values, you can't get the 98. But you can't under Obama math. Okay. And how sells in record numbers? I know. Uh, I can guarantee you that around this building there are more than 200 homes for sale by Bank of America. And you can drive for an hour and a half and not see more than 10 signs from anybody's because they have stopped putting the signs up in front of the houses in order to keep the prices from being driven down. I mean, we know a place that we're looking at, they're wanting $400,000 more than the house could be got on the market at the moment. And um, the housing sales are not up. I mean, it, it, you can't borrow. Okay, BS says, did you know that banks aren't loaning money to buy houses? Well, then how the house sells up? Because the President of the United States does whatever the President of the United States wants to do. You mean the President of the United States would fabricate? Well, yeah, all presidents do it. The Democrats are probably, probably going to basically fudge all something. And more photos found in California teacher abuse case. I know. I'm getting, you know, okay. Uh, you, you don't throw out the bad bushel of apples because you have a bad apple in the bushel. But this is exactly... I went, years ago, I knew some teachers that worked in um, Bakersfield, California, when they did this satanic ritual thing. They were killing the kids' dogs. They were having naked orgies. And then they found out that all the kids got together and made the story up. I know. Is, is that just not ridiculous? I know. And it's the same thing here. They and said, it ruined the people's lives. Okay. Here, you're saying... Well, the, you know, people like Geraldo Rivera and other people, they didn't speak up because these were the children of illegal immigrants. And the illegal immigrants were so afraid that they would be thrown out of the country if they said their children were being molested, that they didn't speak up. Oh, uh, that ain't from any Latin community I've ever lived in. Mm -hmm. Those people don't even bother with the law. They go sort and... You know, they start to go neuterize people that they think of attack. They don't even have they, to have They take proof. care of their own? But they don't even have to have proof. They'll go sit there and do something if one of their daughters said, 
uh, you know, he's such and such dead me, but because the Latino community is very tight. If you, mm -hmm. if one girl says something, the whole community comes down on them. So you know this is a bunch of BS. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, well, it goes along with BS today. That, that there's so much BS going on on the news industry anymore that at least at the moment you still have the right to turn it off.